Louisiana, I gotta give me a mojo hand. Said I'm going to Louisiana now. I gotta give me a mojo hand. I gotta fix my woman so she can't have all those other men. It's good to be back here at the uh, MBA. Yes, I believe I did this gig in about 2016. I've lost track. It was a while ago. And um, it's good to be back in Melbourne. Uh, how many people is first time ever seeing a Mitch Granger show? Pretty much everyone. All right, so I got to let you know the rules then. There's no rules. Clap, scream, holler, jump, you can dance. Kiss the person next to you with permission. It all goes. All right, I, I'm going to do another classic uh, blues before I get into some of my uh, original stuff. Bring it on home. I 
said, baby. About the good times we once had. I get so happy now, my heart got glad. I think about the way you love me too. was here was just after I uh, put out an acoustic blues record which was simply called The Blues and um, after putting out that record I decided I wanted to uh, plug some stuff in and go electric and uh, it took me quite a while because there was no microphone I could get that harmonica sound with my band like so I ended up going off and inventing a microphone that enabled me to do that I'm not using it now because I don't have the band. Uh, but uh, then I put out a record uh, called Plug It In. And so I'm going to play a couple of tracks off that uh, right now. <laughs>
I'm your man I'm your honey bee Honey bee Honey bee Honey bee Honey bee harmonica players in the house a few <laughs> so you know what I'm doing when I'm changing harmonicas maybe I don't need to explain it but just in case these things they made them like a little cheat sheet they cut out notes so it was easy to stay in key and so that's why you can't necessarily play in all keys on one of these things so I make sure I grab the right one when I pick it up and I actually I um, uh, it's a good lead into. I started playing music on the harmonica actually. So when I was 13, I picked up the harmonica first, and that's what led me to the blues. And I grew up in a place called Balmain in Sydney, which back then in the 80s was uh, famous for blues and jazz. So I just got lucky, and that's how it kind of swept me up in that river of music. And uh, I got even luckier because I was playing in a band by the time I was 14 in the pubs there. And uh, the, uh, the fun fact about that band is that Alex Lloyd was our singer. And he was a great blues singer. And it was a good band. Declan Kelly was the drummer, if you know him. And uh, so we sold a lot of beer and they kept getting us back. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is, I'm going to do a, a short version here of one of the first songs I ever learnt as a teenager. So being a white guy, from Australia, I found Eric Clapton before I found Robert Johnson. So this is a, a Mitch Granger version of an Eric Clapton version of a Robert Johnson song. <laughs>
in the woods Where I'm not supposed to hang it on the trees Which is about now I'm a man that rules Where I'm not supposed to hang it on the trees And I'm begging you, mama It's, uh, it's on that new album, and it's my tribute to a uh, John Lee Hooker storytelling type blues. And I'm figuring we might have some John Lee Hooker fans in the house this evening. All right. This is the Blues Appreciation Society, so it was a safe bet. <laughs> I let the gentleman on in. 
Sure enough, he said, that's my daughter You were messing with He reached down for his gun now I made a break for the dog Bullets started flying, my feet started moving I made it out the corner, round down the street Across the park, all the way down to Melbourne Through the streets here, over the harbor Back up into the city and then back down to Melbourne To play for you tonight And I said That's alright That's alright I said, that's alright, yeah. that's alright, oh, mm, that's alright, then I played some harmonica. streets now and I took a real long when I got up to my gate who do you think I saw sitting there waiting for me to get home girl from before, just sitting on my step down, waiting for me in the sun to get home, so I opened up my gate, and I walked up the path, and then we connected eyes, and then she said, You guys got it now. She said, that's so right. That's so right.
so red. You guys are all right. All right, this is the next song I, I wrote during COVID when I felt like I was sitting on the couch just a little bit too much. And I wanted to like move around and shake it up. So this song is pretty much just simply about uh, dancing and singing and shaking it up. But I borrowed a hill country blues type of groove with a soul twist, I think, for the chorus. Oh, and if you want to see something entertaining, I shot a video clip for this song with some friends in Nashville. So that's, that's one correction uh, for John there. I live in Nashville these days. And uh, I was there and we got a studio set up and they hadn't heard the song. They knew it was about dancing. And the setup was I played the track and they have to make up a dance on the spot. And they all came to the party and they went for it. And uh, yeah, so that's all edited, it was edited together. So shake it up on YouTube if you want to have a laugh. <laughs>
Thanks very much. So it is true. I, I, I used to live in, um, in Hollywood. But uh, it's not like they paint it on the silver screen. Has anyone been to actual uh, the suburb of Hollywood? Yep. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. And it's dirty and it's dangerous. And um, yeah, I, I had friends have gear stolen at knife point after gigs. Um, so I, I like, uh, I wrote this song about that juxtaposition of juxtaposition of what they sell you and the reality on the street of Hollywood. So that's what this next one's about. Yeah, man, that guitar sounds good. Dream machine, dirty streets, silver screens. Both the one life is up down on sunset after dark in Hollywood and Hollywood and Hollywood and Hollywood. Most nights, Mr. Moses is here. Selling trinkets to buy a few beers. There's shots of all kinds followed by screams. Down on the boulevard of dreams in Hollywood, in Hollywood, in Hollywood, in Hollywood. I'm talking about that low down Hollywood. Quiet, you may hear a painted star shed a tear in Hollywood. Hollywood, I'm talking about that low down town. guys i got a couple more for you this evening thank you very much for coming down supporting the blues society that supports the blues and uh, i know it's a uh, 
a short set, but I, I jumped at the chance to come and play here. I had so much fun all those years ago when I did it. And this is a great stage, and I like to uh, also just do my bit where I can for the music that has given me so much over all of the years. And, uh, uh, and uh, recently I got to go to Mississippi and perform there, uh, Ground Zero and uh, the Shack Up Inn, and um, touch the, uh, the stone where it all kind of began, at least in uh, a lot of people's way of thinking. And um, I got a song about that now. It's called Mississippi. My titles are usually pretty to the point. <laughs> Mississippi has taken hold deep down in my bones. My heart aches for a Tupelo night where the spirits treat me right. Take me down to Mississippi where the fireflies are so pretty Stand me up Under that delta sky Where the blues Gets you high Um, this one, I, I often end my set, but this one will make it a shorter version. And uh, if you feel like shaking your tush, this is the one to do it. <laughs> Oh, 
Shake your money maker. 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 I got a woman who lives up on the hill. T-shirts and CDs if you want to give me some gas money to get back to Nashville. You'd have a good T-shirt.
If I be a dog, if I be a dog, if I be a dog, it's we down here make you walk the long, honey. I said, please don't go. DC fans in this house. Yeah. I remember this. Don't leave me. Don't go now. You know I love you. I don't know what they do down in that town. That's a crazy town. You will leave. Don't leave me, baby. Don't go. Don't leave me, darling. You know I love you. to a Mitch Granger show before, you know that I uh, usually play for at least two hours. And I also like to rate my audiences, flip the script, because, uh, you know, I know we're sitting there rating me, but you guys got a solid eight and a half there tonight for that. Melvin's doing all right. 